there, how's everybody doing? And today, as you all could already tell by the title, we will be making our own screenshot application. So no more clicking print screen from the keyboard. You can simply use your own code and take your screenshots. Pretty interesting, right? So it's a very short and sweet code. No difficulties with it at all. So let's get started right away. Now, uh, let's look, have a look at our libraries and modules first that are required. You have Kinter because it is a graphical user interface. And why are we using time? I'll come to that. And now let ha let's have a look at Pi Auto GUI. It's basically used to control the mouse and keyboards uh, via some code. Okay, so basically that's the main thing that will help you take your screenshots. Next, just for our making a graphical uh, user interface better. Um, I'll be putting in some images. We all know this by now. And also there's this interesting sound, camera click sound, whenever a screenshot is taken. Uh, so that's what I'll be implying also. Next, let's go ahead and build our window for our interface. So I've given, I've instantiated the TK class, given it a title, put in the geometry, and just for you all to know, I will go ahead and run this so you can see how it basically looks like. Okay, there you go. This image is what I have put in. Just take in any image and put it up there. Okay, so this these three lines will do the task for you. Make sure your file is in the same directory. Otherwise, if it's not, please mention the entire path. Okay, so... As you all just saw, I have created two buttons. That is take a screenshot button and I'm done. But that is basically saying quit. So there is no problem with just placing two buttons on the screen, right? You pass in root, give it some fonts, put in a text, maybe put in some colors. And most important part is you put in the command as to what should happen after clicking that button. So first for the take a screenshot button, I'm going to say command is equal to screenshot, which is basically a function which we look into right now. And the I'm done button will basically close the window that is quit that is inbuilt. You don't have to define anything explicitly for that. Make sure to place both the buttons in here. And finally, main loop is required. Otherwise, you're never going to be able to see the screen. Now let us come to the screenshot function. Okay. So firstly, you always want your screenshots to be saved into a file, right? Otherwise, what's the use of taking the image? So our first thought will be, let's take some random number. Let's take a range of numbers and give it some random name for the file. But what if the numbers selected are same? Because it's absolutely possible, right? Uh, uh, now, random numbers between 1 to 10, you can get 2 twice or you can get 3 twice. Anything is possible. So, the better option is use time.time. .time, okay, you basically call the time function from the time uh, library or module. And that's it. And why have we typecasted it to int? Because you do not want float some one, two, three, four, point, five, six, or something like that, right? So basically, this will give you a nice long integer number, something that we usually see while downloading images on su such from the internet. Okay, so that's our random file name that we decided. And I have given the file name as this is basically my path. I want uh, what I went ahead and did was. I created a screenshot folder in on the desktop, okay? And I gave the path to it so it gets saved exactly there. Then I gave the typecasted format, that is I typecasted the randomized variable into string because obviously integers are not allowed. And I gave the extension .jpg, you can give .jpg or .png, anything will do. Lastly, here is the most important part. You have to call pg the alias for Pi Auto GUI. And what you do is pg.screenshot and pass the file name to it. And to that, what I'm doing is I'm saving it in an SS, let's say variable. So that will basically hold your screenshot for you. And after that, using the play sound module, I'm playing the sound, the click sound exactly when the screenshot is taken. 
And what will ss.show do? You can view the image that you take. That also may be on your mobile phones. You can always see the picture, right? The, the screenshot that you just took, you can always see that. Now, what are you wondering about the iconify? What is that? Well, let's come back to our button out here. What happens is whenever you click, take a screenshot, okay? You do not want this window popping up also, right? In your picture, that's highly not what we want. It's highly inefficient. So what we want is immediately after clicking the take a screenshot button, you want this to disappear for a while and then come back again, okay? So please make note, window appears, button is clicked, window disappears and the screenshot is taken and then the window must appear again right so what we do is we go ahead and create a new function for that so let's go ahead and name it remove and click okay so let let me go ahead and firstly put this function name in the command otherwise it's going to be one hell of an issue okay that's done let's go ahead and understand this now so basically you are hiding it you basically call the withdraw function of root and just after a second or so you call the screenshot function so you use root dot after thousand comma screenshot and that's basically it it comes here and now remember the window needs to pop back up again the work is done by the deiconify function available from kinter so window reappears all right and that's all. Your entire code is done. Where are my spelling skills going? Okay, that's good. All right, let's go ahead and run this now since we are all done. I'm gonna go ahead and close this. Otherwise, okay, let's take a screenshot now. And that's our window. Let's take a screenshot of let's say the desktop. How about that? So I'm going to go ahead and click take a screenshot, okay? You heard that? That was a nice sound, right? And there you go. The screenshot is being shown. The sound played pretty well and your window has popped back up again. And let's go ahead and check our folder now. Do we have it? Uh, where is my folder? Yeah, there you go. My screenshots. There you go. You have your screenshot saved here with a nice big long number, which will never get repeated. Okay, that's pretty much it. Do you want to go ahead and take some other screenshot just to check out if it's actually working? Um, what do we take? What do we take? Okay, so I just opened up my channel. I'm going to go ahead and take a screenshot now. Okay, that was a nice click. Um, that's it. We're done. Here's my photo, you can view it, you can come back out here, see that it has been updated with a new number. All right, that was a nice project, pretty simple, easy, and fun to do. I hope you all had fun too. Bye-bye, I'll see you all soon.